everyone's had a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. It's an honor to have you here with me tonight. A special thank you to the Maid Summit and Amar for allowing me to be a speaker on this amazing panel of experts. So, welcome. Who am I? Well, I'm a crazy girl from North Carolina who decided a couple of years ago to start a cleaning service. I do not consider myself an expert. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a volunteer, and I'm someone who is truly passionate about making a difference in the lives of my employees and the lives of our clients. My name is Crystal Ham, and I'm the founder and the owner of GoToGirls, located in Raleigh, North Carolina. So if you are passionate, if you love your employees, if you love serving others, then join me tonight as I share with you my journey on how little old me, just a girl, got to a million dollars. And if you're struggling to get there, I can help you too. How did it all begin? Well, it started for me sitting in the middle of the bed one night, making a list of all the things that I truly love to do. I needed to make a difference. And so I love to clean. That made the list. I love to do laundry. I love to organize. I made a list of all the things from my corporate banking career that I loved as well. And I truly love to serve others. I missed that. I love having my own team of employees. I love having clients to serve and truly make a difference in their life. And so when I reviewed this list, I had no idea if there was any money in house cleaning. I had never had a cleaning service. So that night, with, I took a leap of faith and I went out online. I purchased my URL. And then the next morning, I told my husband of my plan. And I think he thought I had lost my mind. And maybe I had, <laughs> but the adventure was, was ready to begin. So now that I had traded in my suit for yoga pants and a toilet brush, I had to be honest with myself. I had no idea what I was doing, but we all have to start somewhere. So I hired someone to build my website. I started a coming soon page on Facebook. I was smart enough to know because I had never had a cleaning service of my own that I needed to hire someone with experience. And so I hired someone and I'll never forget, I was on the phone with her going through Walmart and she's telling me everything that I need to buy from cleaning products to a mop to the brooms to the, I knew how to clean, I love to clean, but I didn't know what a professional service would use. So I started marketing. I was out on Facebook, as I mentioned, using Craigslist. Uh, so I will share a funny story with you all there. I used every free, free resource that there is. And so Craigslist in my area was, was pretty big at that time. And so with a, with a name like Go To Girls, <laughs> you can imagine the potential prospects that I was getting. It was not good. So I quickly learned that Craigslist was not the main area that I would advertise to get potential clients. After a couple of weeks of hard work and posting out on all the free resources that I could find, we finally got our first client. And so I had quoted her $100 to do a general clean on her 3,500 square foot house. I completely undercharged, <laughs> but I learned a lot that day. It was a very valuable lesson for me. After hours and hours and hours of cleaning, it, uh, it taught me a valuable lesson that I quickly needed to go out and research pricing in my market uh, because I knew that that many hours of work was definitely more than $100. But my victory that day is that I found someone to pay me to clean their house. 
And I was so proud of, of that moment. To summarize our first year in business, I ended my first month in revenue at $485. It was a very exciting month. The next month, we had around $3,500 in revenue. And over that first year, I hired more employees. I trained more employees. I was really starting to figure out my marketing on Facebook. And that was, has been an amazing resource for, for me. I'll talk about that a little later. And so we ended that first year with three employees, and my goal was to have $10,000 a month in revenue, and we ended just shy with about $9,500. So I considered that an amazing first year of learning and growing and, and figuring things out. Year two begins. I start that year with three employees. From January to March, we grew from $10,000 in revenue to $18,000 in revenue. It was getting to be too much for me to do alone in the office. And I want to share this story because many of you can relate. And that first office hire is a very scary hire. And I understand and can completely relate to that. So I found Janet. She's very passionate about our clients. She's very passionate about our employees, and she really wants to make a difference. So she fits perfectly with our mission. When I hired Janet, our revenue was $18,000. And a year later, 12 months later, our revenue almost tripled. We were at $45,000 in revenue. That is the power of hiring the right person for your office. She allowed me to focus on growth. I could work on my business, not in my business. So she allowed and freed up that time for me to continue to market, to hire, and to grow. We ended that year with $30,000 in revenue. We had eight employees, and we had been nominated for awards in our area. The most important uh, decision I made other than hiring Janet that second year is that I really started to perfect my system and my process. I was still using a personal cell phone, which meant all client communication, whether it be phone calls or text, it was all handled by me. And that was not scalable. So I found an amazing phone system. I was using Google Calendar and MapLine to, to do our scheduling for our employees. And I knew that at that point, it was no longer scalable. I needed to be able to send out automated text reminders. I needed my girls to be able to have apps on their phone. So again, I reached out. I knew that I had to have a scheduling software in order to scale my business. So these are just some examples. We had to have strong systems in place in order to grow our business. So year two, I really focused on that and chose the companies that I'm still using now. And it made all the difference in allowing me to grow. Beginning of year three. So now I really feel confident in my systems and my processes. Janet and I are now struggling with being able to keep up in the office. We hire our second office employee, our sales manager. So we, we begin winning awards in my area. Things are really starting to crank up. I really perfected my Facebook marketing. Those that know me throughout the industry know that I grew my business to over $700,000 in revenue using organic Facebook marketing alone, which is extremely powerful. So there's a lot of free resources out there. So you don't have to have a lot of money to get everything started. You just have to know how to use them. We ended year three at around 70,000 in revenue 19 employees, we had won awards. So again, we doubled our business. We're just around the corner from becoming a million dollar maid service and things are looking amazing for us. January 19, we start the year off with a diamond award, which is for best house cleaner in our area. We are getting over 250 quote requests a month and we can't keep up. So we decide we need to hire a customer service manager. We bring her into our office 
And April of this year, we had $86,000 in revenue. So it has been an amazing start of the year for us. As of July, we're at $100,000 in revenue and we have 30 employees. So we continue to grow and we continue to make a difference in the lives of our employees and our clients. What does a million dollar maid service look like? Before I had mine, I had glamorous visions in my mind office employees sitting around in beautiful offices with headsets, shelving with the perfectly organized cleaning supplies. And that is not what my million dollar maid service looks like. I share this with you because I think it's important to have expectations that doesn't have to be something grand. So what, what my million dollar cleaning service looks like up until a couple of months ago is me working in my pajamas every day was a couple of girls in my upstairs in an office, a cleaning garage bay full of cleaning supplies with, with my employees having my garage code going in and out. And so I had no idea that that's what a million dollar maid service looked like. My passion yeah. and my company's mission and vision, I think that that is key to any successful business is that you need to know your purpose and you need to have a vision. So for me, it truly is about making a difference in the lives of my employees who then make a difference in the lives of our clients. I believe if you truly, truly love what you're doing, the money will come. I'm making more money than I ever have in my life and I am changing people's lives. GoToGirls is allowing me to fulfill that purpose and that need that I had to make a difference in people's lives. I'm going to share with you a story about one of my employees and how your company can make a difference and how GoToGirls makes a difference in the lives of our employees. When she came to me, she was working for a large hotel chain and she was making $400 a week, $10 an hour at 40 hours a week. She was a little nervous because I'm a small business. At that point, I only been in business for about two years and I was an unknown for her. She has three children and she's a single mom. This employee is now making between eight and $900 a week. She has changed her life. GoToGirls has provided her the ability to double her income and provide for her children. It gives me chill bumps to think about how when we run our businesses smart in the right way and we strive with a passion to make a difference, that we can impact these employees' lives. So what happens when you make a difference in the lives of your employees? I can tell you, they provide amazing and excellent customer service to your clients. Our attrition rate is less than one and a half percent for my company. It's amazing. And the reason why is we do not just clean houses. We make a difference. My employees know that we clean for free for women with cancer. My employees know that by cleaning, a house for a mom, it allows her to spend weekends with her children. We clean for the elderly who do not have the ability to bend and the flexibility to clean their homes anymore. We clean for first time home buyers. They've saved and now they are moving into their beautiful new home. So we truly believe that we make a difference to us. And I think this is key to our success is that we're not just cleaning houses. Each and every one of my employees, if they're the right fit, believe that they are making the difference. What makes me successful? I'm gonna share with you the reasons why I think that GoToGirls had the ability to grow to a million dollars in three years. I think it starts with passion, passion and purpose. 
I absolutely love what I do. I love it. I hope that you can feel that with watching me tonight. I have a passion to make a difference with the lives of my employees. I have a passion to make a difference with our clients. And I have a passion to be successful and allow my family financial security. I have a passion for all of that. I love what I do. With that being said, you need to have the skills to do what we're doing. And so I think the number one and the biggest key to success in our industry is our employees. I think that they are a number one asset. And so we need to treat them with respect. We need to pay them well. We need to let them know how much we appreciate them. And my company actually has a process for all of that to ensure our girls are getting that feedback and letting, and letting them know all the amazing things our clients say. Our girls on our team are amazing. And as a result of treating them well and paying them well, they treat our clients extremely well. I think the third thing for my success has been my marketing. I shared earlier, I grew my company to over $700,000 in revenue with Facebook marketing alone, organically. It has been a snowball effect for our company. We right now get over 250 quote requests a month, and more than half of those are still from Facebook organically. Knowing, as my, some of my friends say, the secret sauce. You have to relate to your client. You have to know what they want. You have to get in there and put yourself in their shoes. I think that that is the key to marketing. You need systems and processes and procedures. When you're not there, your team needs to know what to do. When things happen in a home, your cleaners need to know what to do. You need to have very well organized systems and processes. I think the fifth thing to my success is service. We do little things for our clients. We, our entire theme, we have a theme every year, and our theme this year is above and beyond. And we actually share on a weekly call with our employees the things that they did to go above and beyond for our clients. All of our clients get a welcome soap the first time we clean for them. We do little things all the time to make them feel special from answering the phone in the office and how we treat them, to the girls providing amazing, amazing service. The reality is, is there's a lot of cleaning services out there. And so how we differentiate ourselves is by the level of service that we provide. I shared with you earlier that our attrition rate is less than one and a half percent, which is pretty amazing for a company our size. And last but not least is goals and vision. I believe if you know what your goal is, if you think about it, if you write it down and you tell others that that is very, very important. Work backwards, whether it be, I want to be at $10,000 in revenue by the end of this year, or I want to have 30 clients by the end of this year, or I want to get to a half a million dollars by the end of this year. Write it down and work backwards. It was two years ago I wrote on an index card that my company would get to a million dollars. And I actually got there faster than I expected. So I think setting really specific goals and working backwards from there is absolutely important and key. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the industry for a while, if you share my passion to make a difference in the lives of your employees, and your clients and our community, then I can help you. And you may be thinking, I'm still in the field every day cleaning. I'm working in my business, not on my business. I understand. I was in the same boat three years ago. Or maybe you're thinking, I'm still using Google Calendar. I haven't even figured out a scheduling software. I understand. I was just there two years ago. So for the last two years, I've had cleaning business owners from around the country that have contacted me for help. And so I set a goal, and I'll share that with you. A year ago, I bought the domain 
million dollar maid. I knew that I would get to a million dollars. And so my next goal started. I have the goal to help cleaning business owners that share my passion and my vision that truly want to make a difference that I would help them. And so if you're struggling with processes or service or marketing or how to hire the right employees, it would be my honor to help you because I believe if I can make a difference in another cleaning business owner's life who can then positively impact 20 employees, 30 employees, and change their life and change that community, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I have a power and a passion to help, to serve others. So if you need help with your cleaning business and you feel my passion, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll let you know the services that I offer and how I can help. And remember, I'm just a girl who three years ago decided to make a difference. And with power and passion, I have successfully grown to over a million dollars in three years. And I think with that passion and determination, you can do it too. Thank you so much.